How you going guys, Curtis from Cutting Edge Engineering. So today's job is gonna be a little bit different than the usual stuff we do, and it's gonna involve our hydroptic number six jig borer. So our customers have fabricated this. What this is, is a stand for a welding robot to sit on, but because of all the welding, the top surface has pulled out of shape. So they've sent it to us for us to skim the top and level it out. And to do that, we're gonna be using our jig borer because it's far too tall to go in our milling machine, and I don't really wanna spin this in the lathe. So let's get it set up. So the tool we're going to be using is a 150mm diameter 4 cartridge facing cutter. Actually pretty good. Just the corners are low. It's expected. Bit in the middle. Right, so we've got that set up. I've just checked the top plate to see how flat it is. It's to within half a mil, so that's pretty good. So we're just gonna take a light skim pass to clean up the entire surface. If we need to do any more, we'll take a final pass on it but this job should be pretty easy. And we're gonna start with a spindle speed of 130 RPM and see how it handles that.
Righto, so we've taken our first cut. It hasn't fully cleaned up, so I'm going to lower the quill down 0.2 of a mil and we'll cut it again and hopefully it'll clean up this time. So I noticed that corner didn't clean up, so I'm going to bring it down another 0.1 of a mil and hopefully we'll get it this time. Righto, so that surface is completely flat now. I would like to try and improve the surface finish, so I am going to up the RPM to 210, and then we will take a 0.1 of a mil skim cut across the entire surface and hopefully get it looking a lot better. Righto guys, so we finished that. The surface finish really didn't improve. I'm gonna say that's due to the design of the cutter and the geometry of the tip. The cutter inserts do have a very flat bottom on them. The swarf will then get trapped under the cutter and it will mark the material, but I'm not gonna go and regrind those just for this job. I'm still not happy with that surface finish, so there's one more thing I'm going to try. What I've done, I've changed out the tool. I've gone to a six cartridge milling head. Those cartridges have a different grind on them and a different tool geometry. And I am gonna lower one of those a little bit lower than the rest of them, essentially making a big fly cutter. So hopefully it won't pick up swarf and drag it across the surface. I've also sped up the RPM to 310 RPM. So hopefully it will improve the surface finish significantly.
Righto, super happy with that surface finish all up. We only removed half a mil off the material overall. That cleaned up really well. Now we've got it done, let's get it off the machine, and back on the pallet, back to our customer. How you going guys? Curtis from Cutting Edge Engineering. So today... Oh, hang on. How you going guys? Oh, <clears throat> Where are we going with it? And. And what? <laughs> Righto, so we've taken our clean up cut, nothing... Uh, right, so we've taken a clean up cut, nothing... Uh, Righto, so we've taken our... Uh, fuck, uh, fuck off the phone. That's the right way, for you. Oh. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> God, fuck, <laughs> yeah, that way. <laughs> You big guy. I'm big guy. Bye, Yop. <laughs>